Welcome back. Today, we are gonna be doing, well, first of all, as you all know, we don't know what we're having yet. So we thought it'd be fun, we saw some videos, we thought it'd be fun to do some gender prediction tests. You know, they have a bunch of old wives tales. Um, I saw one, it was about 40 of them. Some of them I thought were just absolutely ridiculous. So I narrowed it down to 15 of them. <laughs> that we gonna try. We gonna show them that list, but you can tell me you narrowed down to 15. Yeah, I narrowed down to 15 of them that we gonna try. Um, and then we'll see out of the 15 if it's more boy or more girl. All right, this is not planned. Like, I just happened to have my Duke shirt on and she just happened to wear pink, but it's cute, right? Pink and blue, <laughs> I swear we didn't plan this. <laughs> All right, so let's jump right into the list. All right, so the first thing is the Chinese calendar. So according to the Chinese calendar, you have to put in your age and then your month of conception. So I was 28, we conceived in September. So according to them, we're having a girl. So it's once a girl. That was fast, I have no idea what's going on. I didn't see this list, y'all. <laughs> and then, along with the Chinese calendar, they also have a Mayan calendar. And with that one, <clears throat> it's based off even and odd stuff. So depending on if your age was even or odd when you conceived, and if the month you conceived was even or odd, um, it's a boy or girl. So the age? <clears throat> it was 28, so it was even. All right. And, and the, the month? month was September, so it was odd. It's the ninth, ninth month. And so they say that equals a boy. So that's one for boy. All right, so <laughs> one for boy, <clears throat> one for girl. The next one, cravings I've been having. <laughs> I have craved peanut butter and jelly. She always craving peanut butter. So I don't know if that counts. Like it's not like you're craving. You think I'm craving sour so so the thing what it say sour? It just say sweet pretty sour. Oh okay. Well, you just not gonna write the sour down. Okay. So Do you think I'm craving sour? So will you tell me what you think? No, if she's craving sweet stuff, then it's a girl. If she's been craving sour stuff, it's a boy. Sour is a pickle sour? Yeah. I haven't been craving meat. Why you? Why was you trying to give me those subway for? In the beginning. Bread. Because yeah. Because Come on, beginning. That was two weeks ago. I just want the subway. Uh. Yeah. Uh, In the beginning, I wanted pickles, I think, and salt and vinegar because it helps with nausea, and I was having a lot of nausea. But lately, it's been sweet. So. Yeah, but she's always crazy sweet, so it's not because of whatever's in her <laughs> belly. <laughs> but yeah, we'll rack that up as girl. So, symptom based. And one of the symptoms is excessive nausea. It says if you have excessive, na excessive nausea, then it's a girl, and if not, it's a boy. I had really bad nausea in the beginning, like every single day. What? Once again, you always have not, like, you always. No, I don't. That was coming up, like. Wait, you just it. it well, this see this. I is, haven't had any nausea since then, though. But my thing is, is like, can we use it if it's something that always like you? But, okay, so morning sickness. If you have morning sickness in the beginning, excessive morning sickness, then it's supposed to be a girl, which I did. Like I was sick every day. I was at least I had I had morning sickness a week or two. So. All right, I don't know. All right, so I had, so the next symptom, headaches. I had really bad migraine the first um, trimester. And they say um, headaches supposed to be indicated with a boy. So we ended up going to the emergency room for migraine one time. That's how bad I was having them. And then the second trimester, they just kind of went away. Like I had, I, had a, I had a headache the other day, but I haven't had one in a long time before then. So I'm gonna say boy. But you only had one headache. No, I had a bunch of headaches in the beginning. Oh, I'm bad at this game. All right. <laughs> Partner's weight gain. So they say if your partner gains a lot of sympathy weight with you while you're pregnant, then it's a girl. And if not, then it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> he gained a lot of weight with me, with Alicia. But I don't know if you gained. See, it's weird because I picked up weight before she got pregnant. And I haven't really gained any sense. So, 
I want to say no weight gain, okay. even though I, I'm fat. <laughs> I'm about to get in the gym, y'all. As a matter of fact, we're going to talk about that in another video. All right, so we're going to go with boy. And then your sleeping preference, which side you like to sleep on? Left is a girl. No, left is a boy and right is a girl. Um, I think I prefer my right. What do you think? No. You prefer my left? I lay towards you? Yeah, you don't, you don't lay neither way. You be like, oh, 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 help me turn over. Oh, oh. <laughs> my back be hurting when I lay down. But I think, and I, I lay on my left side because when I lay on my right side, I have acid reflux. I guess but I, I feel like I prefer my right side. I don't know. It's tough. It seems like you prefer your right side when I'm in the bed. But like if, if I'm doing something, it seems like you always facing towards yeah. me. Lay on your pillow. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to say left? Well, I don't know. It seems like... Like I said, I don't know, it's, it's toss-up. It's toss-up. Well, you don't prefer neither one. We're gonna scratch that one out. <laughs> so, pregnancy glow. I say if you have a lot of acne, it's a girl. And if not, it's a boy. Now, I've had acne breakouts. Mind you, it has not been as bad as when I was pregnant with Lisa. Like, I had really bad acne when I was pregnant with Lisa. So, now see this video gonna make it seem like either I don't know what I'm talking about or she don't know what she's talking about. Cause you said you haven't had a lot of acne? I have. Oh, okay, okay. I have had a lot of acne, but not compared to Alicia. Oh, your cabbage is stink. <laughs> <laughs> so I say yeah, still, it still hasn't been yeah, as bad so, as yeah, Alicia. Yeah, yeah, you be complaining. Oh, there's bumps on my face. <laughs> So I'm, I'm breaking out so bad girl. when I'm pretty. Uh, all right, where we at? Cabbage stink, oh. Okay. <laughs> the next one, the skin test. If your skin is dry, it's supposed to be a boy. If it's soft, it's supposed to be a girl. Mine has been really dry. Like, I have been having to put excess lotion on. I've been having to make him put lotion on my back lately. My back has been really dry. My scalp has been really dry. I usually don't get a lot of like dandruff and stuff, but since I've been pregnant, I have, so I'd say dry. You know, y'all, she said she didn't want a girl, but it seemed like she picked all the questions that lead. I didn't see the list, but these, these are about a girl. That evil boy. Oh, okay. You know what? I also looking at this list and I'm seeing that nobody's really asking me any questions. Like, what about my skin? And, and, and what about if, if I'm nauseated or not? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's boy. Yeah. All right. You. Bing. All right, the next one mm. we'll do is what? The stinking cabbage test. No, we'll do the last one here. Oh, okay. All right, so the next one is the hairline test of your firstborn. We'll say firstborn, we only have one. All right. And if the back of it goes straight across, it's supposed to be the same gender as her. And if it goes to a point, it's supposed to be the oxygen. But let's see. Come here. All right, let me get out of the way. I'm scared. You scared? <laughs> Turn around. All right, y'all. Can y'all see that? It doesn't go straight across. I can tell you that. <laughs> but it's not a point. So, like, like if you do it like that, it's like. It it's, is a point right there. No, but it's like. Lift your head back up, Alicia. It's like. That point is not like it ain't like which I think I don't know because because you know you know like well no you don't know but when you get your hair lined up like they will go off this line right here well, you know about it I don't. right they will go off that so you think it's straight across yeah I think it's straight across all right <laughs> oh, straight across girl <laughs> all right then the next one if I'm carrying high or low. I think I'm carrying high. I think it's high. Yeah, I think it's definitely high. I don't know what low looks like. I mean, it look, it look low. Uh, what's it? Like it'll be like. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm carrying high on because I have like pain. This might just be short people problems. But I have like pain right here. 
and I had the same pain with Alicia, which is not bad. I say it's high. Y'all can vote on what y'all say. Yeah, leave in the comments if y'all think she's carrying high or low. But I'm gonna go with girl for that one. We'll go high for now. So then we had the fork and swim test. He has taken the fork. Oh, that's why you told me to do that. Yeah. Oh. He has taken a fork under one chair and a spoon under one chair. I'm gonna go sit in one of those chairs and we'll see which one it is. <laughs> All right. So the spoon is the girl and the fork is the boy. He put one of this chair in this chair. And I think I'm gonna take one for this chair. Remember which one you put it under here? I absolutely do not. <laughs> go pull it from under there, Alicia. It's a spoon. Oh. It's a spoon, so, so, that, so that's eight for girls and only four for boys. Mm -hmm. The last and test are kind of weird. You have to mix my urine with baking soda. You have to do equal parts urine and baking soda. So if it starts to fizz, it's a boy. It's a boy. And if it doesn't do anything, it's a girl. I think it's starting to bubble a little bit, but it didn't. Yeah, I don't think it's doing anything. All right, so, girl, next one, we also need urine, but this time we have to mix it with red cabbage. Um, I don't know. I mean, the juice or the cabbage? The juice. Oh. So, we got cabbage juice with some red cabbage. And we have to mix the urine with it. And if it turns pink, it's a girl. If it turns purple, it's a boy. It's already purple. I guess if it doesn't turn, it's a Oh. All right. Over the sink. Over the sink. <laughs> it look clear from here. <laughs> well, now, nah, look. Oh, hold on. Well. It's kind of pink. I don't know. Clear. This thing took a lot clear. That's weird. Well, I guess well, all of it's weird. Point <laughs> Who thought of this? <laughs> uh, I think we can try it again. <laughs> Alright, so we have to mix it with red cabbage. Yeah, try it again. I mean, I guess it's still purple. I, I don't think it turned pink. <laughs> yeah, it definitely didn't turn pink, but it looked more clear. And I'm looking at it through your shirt. So, like, move, step back, because people might be seeing your shirt. Yeah, I think it's purple. Purple. Yeah. You want to try again? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Take two. Yeah. Leave the cabbage in there. I, mean, I don't think it's turned pink. <laughs> it's blue. Yeah. So we're gonna get that one, a boy. Yeah. It's blue. All right. So that was all the tests we had. So Alicia wanted to announce what was the final score. Girl, girl has nine, a boy has five, so left. it's most likely to be a girl. No, that's not right. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we scratched that one. Yeah. It's most likely to be a girl. So, we have the gender reveal coming up, and please remember that this is all just for fun. Not, not no science to win or anything. Just some old wives tales. So, just some fun things to predict the gender, and we'll see what it actually is. And, and if it's a girl, that's actually right. I guess Alicia is pre predicting girl. <laughs> so yeah, we do got our general reveal uh, slash baby shower coming up. So stay tuned for that video coming probably in two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. So we'll see which test right. But if you want to catch your vote right now, just leave it in the comment section if you think it's a boy or a girl. And also, we are still kind of looking for uh, girls and boys' names, babies. So if you got any pretty girl or boy names, leave them down in the comments. You got a name? Bella. 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 Young Bella. Young Bella. <laughs>